It doesn't matter where you come from. Be proud of your DNA. Imagine your DNA is a time machine, a living record that spans not just centuries, but entire civilizations. That's what makes Mexican DNA so mysterious and so powerful. Beneath your skin is a map that stretches across 15,000 years from ancient nomads crossing frozen land bridges to the rise of the Maya and the Aztec, from Spanish galleons to African legacies and even Asian trade winds. It's not just mixed, it's epic. Unlike many countries, Mexico's genetic history isn't a single story, but thousands layered together, some forgotten, some erased, and others still thriving in silence. So why does Mexican DNA stand out in the world of ancestry? What secrets does it keep about identity, adaptation, and survival? Today, we decode the hidden legacy that lives in every Mexican genome. Before we start, I'm on a road to get 10,000 subscribers as a small channel. If you want to help me, please subscribe. To understand why Mexican DNA is so mysterious, we have to start at the beginning, at the edge of the Ice Age. Around 15,000 years ago, small groups of people crossed from Siberia into North America using what's now known as the Bering Land Bridge. Over generations, some of those early pioneers moved south, eventually reaching the region that would become Mexico. These weren't just wanderers, they were the founders of new civilizations, and their genetic legacy still pulses through millions of people today. What makes it especially fascinating is that they didn't all descend from a single group. Genetic studies have shown that Mexico's indigenous peoples formed incredibly diverse populations. The Maya of the Yucatan, the Nahua near central Mexico, the Mixtec and Zapotec in Oaxaca, each group developed unique genetic signatures shaped by geography, diet and culture. This early diversity is still detectable in modern Mexican DNA. Some lineages, like mitochondrial haplogroup A and Y-chromosome haplogroup Q, are thousands of years old and surprisingly localized. Unlike Europe, where ancient lineages were often replaced by invaders, many of Mexico's oldest genes quietly endured. These deep time roots make Mexican DNA a treasure chest of the America's first stories, ones that began long before the first empire or flag. When you think of Mesoamerica, you might imagine pyramids, gods, or ancient calendars. But behind the culture was a web of movement that shaped Mexican DNA in remarkable ways. Unlike isolated tribes, the peoples of Mesoamerica were deeply interconnected. Long before European contact, the Aztec, Maya, Zapotec, Mixtec, and dozens of other groups built trade routes, political alliances, and empires that connected regions across modern-day Mexico and beyond. These weren't just commercial exchanges, they were genetic ones too. People moved for marriage, war, tribute and trade. A Maya merchant's child might carry DNA from highland and coastal groups. An Aztec noble could have grandparents from conquered regions like Oaxaca or Veracruz. The result? A vibrant genetic patchwork where lineages from hundreds of miles apart mingled and overlapped. Even without modern transportation, human movement during this period was intense and that shows in the DNA. What makes it mysterious is how some of these mixed genes got locked in certain regions, while others spread far and wide. These patterns tell stories of rise and collapse, alliance and resistance. Every indigenous genetic marker in modern Mexicans holds a fragment of these ancient networks, a map not drawn in ink but coded in chromosomes. The Spanish conquest of the 16th century didn't just change politics and religion, it rewired Mexican DNA forever. When Spanish conquistadors and settlers arrived, they brought their own genetic signatures, primarily from regions across Iberia like Andalusia, Extremadura and Basque country. But this wasn't a one-way street. Colonization also triggered a convergence of worlds that had never met before, genetically speaking. As colonial society expanded, enslaved Africans were forcibly brought into New Spain, contributing their rich and diverse West African DNA to coastal and urban populations. These African genetic threads still show up today, particularly in Veracruz and Guerrero. And from the Pacific came yet another unexpected influence, Asia. Through the Manila Galleon trade route, people from the Philippines and other parts of Southeast Asia arrived in Mexico, leaving behind faint but real genetic footprints, especially around Acapulco and parts of central Mexico. This mix of indigenous, European, African and Asian ancestry created a unique blend that few countries can claim. What's mysterious is how this blend evolved differently across regions, creating micro-ethnic identities and hidden lineages. 
In some families, these threads are well known. In others, they remain secrets uncovered only by DNA tests. Mexican DNA isn't just mixed, it's a genetic crossroads of four continents. Despite centuries of conquest, forced assimilation and cultural suppression, indigenous DNA in Mexico didn't disappear. It survived, often in silence. What makes this survival so remarkable is how certain communities, isolated by geography and united by resilience, preserved their genetic lineages with astonishing clarity. In the mountainous highlands of Oaxaca, the rainforests of Chiapas and the deserts of Sonora, indigenous groups like the Zapotec, Mixe and Seri maintained distinct genetic signatures for centuries. Because many of these communities were difficult to reach, they avoided the full impact of colonial mixing. As a result, genetic drift, a process where isolated populations develop unique traits over time, shaped their DNA into rare patterns not found anywhere else. This is why, in some cases, a simple cheek swab can reveal a direct link to ancestors who lived thousands of years ago, speaking languages that still echo through today's dialects. What's mysterious is how these DNA patterns have endured despite migration, modernization, and cultural change. In some urban centers, indigenous heritage is hidden beneath mestizo identities, only now being rediscovered through genetic testing. In a country so blended, it's the islands of preserved ancestry that make the mystery of Mexican DNA even deeper and more beautiful. Mexican DNA isn't just about where your ancestors came from, it's about how they survived. Over thousands of years, different populations across Mexico developed genetic traits that helped them adapt to unique environments. One of the most fascinating examples is metabolic adaptation. Many indigenous groups evolved to thrive on maize-based diets, storing and processing energy in ways that worked perfectly in ancient times. But in the modern world, these same traits are linked to higher risks of obesity and type 2 diabetes. It's not a weakness, it's evolution catching up with a new food system. Other adaptations are tied to altitude. In central Mexico and the Sierra Madre ranges, some populations show genetic markers that improve oxygen use in thinner air, similar to what's seen in Tibetans or Andeans. Then there's the immune system. Certain alleles common in Mexican populations appear to offer resistance to infections that were once deadly, possibly an evolutionary response to smallpox, malaria, or other introduced diseases. These traits don't just show up in health studies, they show up in everyday life, in how bodies function, heal and react. The mystery lies in how ancient survival shaped modern biology. Mexican DNA carries echoes of struggle, resilience and the constant dance between genetics and environment. Mexican DNA didn't stay within the borders of Mexico. It spread quietly and powerfully across the world. In the past century, millions of Mexicans and Mexican-Americans have formed vibrant communities throughout the United States, Canada and parts of Europe. But when they moved, they didn't leave their ancestry behind. They carried with them one of the richest genetic blends on Earth, an inheritance of indigenous endurance, Spanish conquest, African resilience and Asian migration. In cities like Los Angeles, Chicago and Houston, you'll find people with Mexican ancestry whose DNA still links back to specific pueblos, regions and even ancient civilizations. In some cases, family trees that stretch back to Oaxaca or Michoacan are now rooted in Texas or California. What's surprising is how resilient those genetic patterns remain. Despite generations of intermarriage and migration, DNA tests can still pick up indigenous markers from the Nahua, Purépecha or Zapotec, and in places like Spain and the Philippines, some families are discovering unexpected ties to colonial Mexico through trade and migration that went both ways. So when we talk about Mexican DNA, we're not just talking about a nation. We're talking about a global legacy, a diaspora that carries stories written in chromosomes and carried across continents. If you enjoyed this journey through the roots of Mexican ancestry, please like and subscribe. It truly supports this small channel. Mexican DNA isn't just a mix, it's a masterpiece. It holds the stories of empires, resistance, migration and survival. What does your DNA whisper? Let me know in the comments.